Hey you two, G Buddy Barnes here. I got the Fitech Ultimate LS system here. This is actually the second system that I'm about to install. Um, I'm going to check out the differences with the new one as well. The old one that I put on back in May was one of the early designed ones. So let's see what we got. Everything's very packaged well. Um, obviously, I was open this beforehand, making this video, and see what we got here. So, got the instruction booklet. Everything still is pretty much the same, with colored pictures and detailed instructions. Also, what I noticed is on the inventory sheet they took out the universal coil harness that came with the earlier design kits like, probably because of people having problems with putting the coil harnesses on backwards um, I had that happen to me in my previous video I showed which wires are supposed to be for cylinder 1 and 2 so that the computer knows what cylinder to fire. So everything's pretty much the same. You got your O2 sensors. You got your bolts for your IAC bolts for should be the throttle position sensor. Nicely packaged. This is your three bar map sensor for your boosted guys. This is ideal so you can so the computer will actually learn uh, how much boost you know your supercharger or your turbocharger is producing and it'll actually learn the fuel maps for your application. This is your air intake temp sensor. This is your handheld for self-learning and Here's the computer. The computer is a nice design. Simple, simple one plug, four mounting holes. You can mount these on the firewall or in case, in my case, I installed mine on the inside where the old computer was. Um, very robust. You got your heat fins here so it doesn't overheat. It's a good quality product. Here's your harness. And then you have your injector sub harness for your fuel injectors. Now your harness, they still have the same, I don't know, I kind of want to say poor quality fuel, um, fuse block, but it does do its job as long as you securely mount it. If you anywhere near vibration, these fuses are only held in by the wires themselves, the crimps. So if it gets loose while driving, you'll end up either you know, losing a coil, losing your fuel pump, so on and so forth. But all the other connectors are weather packed, GM style connectors as well as with terminals. Everything seems very well designed and protected from, you know, heat sources being rubbed through and very well taped. All right. Next, we have the throttle body. Again, packaged separately, but I'll try and do this one hand very well package 92 millimeters this has to be the 600 horse version don't forget here's the bolts for the throttle body sometimes it'll be flipped like this or you just open up like I just did and you won't find the bolts so just keep that in mind when you open the package
Here's the intake manifold, sheet metal design. Again, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so bear with me. I don't know if you guys can see, but a very high, uh, high flow. There's also stuff inside, so don't forget, you gotta pull the bag out of here. Because here's your gaskets and the fittings that go on the bottom of the intake for your vacuum port. Again, not the most best design. I actually put 90 degree elbows on mine, so it made easier access to running my vacuum lines. And it also comes with all the hardware, lock nuts. Everything seems very well packed. So I don't lose them. Here's the fuel rails. Fuel rails, nice coat of aluminum. I'll pull one out here. They have Vitec on them, very nicely made. It's got six uh, number six AN fitting on the back. Here's the crossover that screws in. Now, again, like I said, it's six AN fitting. So, when you get your connector for your fuel system, get it so you can screw it right on to the back of the fuel rails. Here's your clamp and these are for your O2 sensor for the drill style. I actually did it on the last project. It didn't leak. You can use these or you can get the weld-in style. I do that separately. This is your clamp for your windshield mount. Here's your harness for your controller. This is actually your USB adapter for downloading on the computer if you want to change your fuel maps. And these are the fuel injectors. Nicely packaged individually. They come with all the O rings. I'm not going to open these because it's winter outside here in upstate New York, so I won't be getting to my project until when the weather breaks. But they're GM style. These happen to be um, 30, 35 pound injectors. All packaged very professionally for shipment. No damage. Only drawback to the system, it does not come with the throttle cable bracket. Which I would assume if it's all inclusive kit, it should come with that. But you have to you have to order that separately, either through Fitech or Holly makes a set or a, a bracket as well. It's pretty much identical. It works. Um, but all in all, this is a great kit, and it's the best bang for your buck. Thanks for watching my video. Feel free to comment if you have any questions. And you guys have a nice day.